Hello guys, welcome to Genius Apple. This is my first video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into today's video. Well, today's video, I'm going to be giving a review of Artemis Fall, written by Owen Colfer. This book had me gripped, it had me intrigued when I read it. It made me feel as if this is going to be one of my best reads. Oh, and it was. It was one of the best reads I have ever read. Best. So, so I'm just going to go straight for the review and let's start. First, let's get on to with the character development. First, we have our hero, Artemis Fall. He's a 12-year-old criminal mastermind. His full name, Artemis Fall II, son of Artemis Fall I, who was in charge of a very large criminal empire. Artemis Fall II is the heir to that very same criminal empire. He is really, really rich. He has his own manor, known as the Fall Manor. He lives there with his mother and his two bodyguards. So, Artemis out, let's get in to the bodyguards. First, we have Butler. Now, the Butlers have been t protecting all the Falls for generations. The Butlers never reveal their name unless they are fatally wounded in some kind of fight or they are about to die. That's the time they reveal their names, not before, not after. Obviously not after. So Butler, he's a very, very resourceful person, quick thinker, he's a very skilled fighter and he protects Artemis with all he has. So he also has a sister called Juliet Butler. This is a critical development since Artemis Fall already knows Juliet's name, so she cannot be entitled to protecting him. Because if Artemis is ever tortured, he could reveal her name that could lead to many problems. So, let's get on with the next character and that is Captain Hollyshot of the Leprechaun Unit. Captain Hollyshot is an elf. She is part of the fairies who live under the crust of the earth. Those are the fairies who are discovered by Artemis. Artemis thinks that he has them in his control, but then he realizes what kind of big problem he has created for the human race. The fairy race hates the human race. The human race does not know anything about the fairy race. That's a big problem. So Captain Hollyshot of the Lower Elements Police Recon Unit, Leprechaun Unit, is also quite resourceful. She's very fast. She has a quick thinking mind. She is really skilled in all types of combat and she is amazing. So she's the fairy that Artemis initially kidnaps and exchanges for a ransom. So let's start with the book review. In the starting, Artemis is seen walking with Butler to a darkened alley where he meets a sprite. A sprite is a type of fairy. From her, he takes a book. The book is actually a kind of Bible for the fairies. The fairies, they, you know, have all their rules and regulations written down in that book. and That's what they follow. Artemis Fall takes that book because he knows that is a crucial development in his plans if he wants them to be where he desires. So, he takes the book and goes back to Fall Manor. Then, he kidnaps Captain Hollyshot while she is completing a ritual to restore her magic as their magic can finish after quite a long use of it. So he kidnaps her, juggles with her emotions, plays with her mind and at the same time keeps the leprechaun at bay. He is just a 12 year old. Imagine that. So he keeps the leprechaun at bay. He demands a ransom of one ton of unmarked gold ingots. That's quite a lot. And they actually deliver it to him. His schemes work out perfectly in the end. So towards the end, the lep decide that they should just get rid of Artemis Fall as he could be a big danger for them. They destroy his manor, then they go in and try to retrieve their gold. According to their book, they cannot enter the premises of any person without his or her permission. When they try to enter Fowl Manor, or what was left of Fowl Manor, they start vomiting and all kinds of diseases happen to them. That's when they realize Artemis did not play by the rules either. Like they stopped playing by the rules, he also stopped playing by the rules and he is now alive. Then they realize the shocking development that Artemis Fall is now fairy enemy number one.
Okay, so in later on books, Artemis Fowl becomes a very good friend with the fairies. I'm not going to tell you too much about the other books because that will be a big spoiler if you're planning on reading the books. So let's end this video with the words which are ended usually in every video. And that is, please like and subscribe to my channel guys. See you in the next video. Bye.